Is data science dying or is it still worth it in 2024? Today, I'll talk to you about the scope and state of the global data science job market as well as the Australian one. By the end of the video, you should have a pretty good idea as to whether a career in data science is the right step for you. I'm Summon there, a data scientist living in Sydney, Australia. So far, 2023 and 2024 has not been a great year for tech. There've been mass layoffs in companies like Microsoft, Google, Amazon, and many other name brand companies. No tech job is safe anymore. It's a natural question to ask yourself whether going into tech or data science is a great idea for 2024, given the fields don't seem as stable as they once did. So let's aim to answer the question and I'll talk through it in four categories. You'll find the different timestamps to those categories in the description below. Let's start off with the global view of the data science market. Globally, data science continues to be the backbone of innovation and strategic decision-making across industries. Contrary to the whispers of its demise, the data science industry is thriving due to the exponential growth of data in all industry. This year, the global data science platform industry is set to reach a peak of around $133.7 billion dollars and the demand for the data scientist role is set to grow by 36 percent from 2021 to 2023. so how are data scientists still in demand when there's tools like chat gpt and otoml that give you modeling code for any type of investigation you might want to do well it's true that these tools are taking over some aspects of the data scientist's role. However, as a result of these tools becoming more popular, more companies want to implement them in-house. To build these tools to work in a company's specific context, they need internal data science teams to be able to build them. GPT and different forms of LLMs are still lacking a lot of the business context that would make tools like this valuable in a business setting. Therefore, there's still a need for internal data scientists to bridge that gap. So what about the growth of the Australian data science market? Well, the trends locally are following the global trends very closely. The data science industry in Australia is booming. In my day-to-day -day job, I talk to data science teams from various organizations, including finance and tech. And so far, the enthusiasm for building applications using AI is at an all-time high. Given the popularity of LLMs and enterprise ML tools, companies are willing to take more of a risk to innovate using AI out of the fear of falling behind their competitors who are already putting a lot of these tools to a good use. So for the first time, AI is truly becoming widespread in multiple different organizations. And guess who is the one that's gonna be responsible for doing the work of building application using this AI technology? It's gonna be data scientists, data analysts, data engineers, and machine learning engineers. So therefore, there's plenty of opportunity to participate in this new AI revolution. According to the Australian Computer Society, 70% of jobs in the IT industry are still in a huge shortage. Demand for the jobs are expected to grow to 117,000 by 2028. So we definitely need more data professionals to be able to work in the IT industry of Australia. However, it's important to note that these days, there's a lot of different options to study data science, which means that candidates for these jobs need to really be able to differentiate themselves beyond their tech degree. So we'll discuss this in a little bit more detail in a short while. So with the increased demand for data science jobs, the flavor of data scientists and machine learning engineer roles are changing. There's a shift for data scientists' roles to be more specialized and more technical. Long gone are the days where people playing in Excel would also be called data scientists. 
As companies get more sophisticated with their data capabilities, there's a greater need for data scientists who are strong coders, along with an expertise in deep learning and natural language processing, especially knowing enough to be able to be innovative in the generative AI revolution. Nowadays, data scientists can expect to work more on scaling modeling systems and AI systems at large. The role of the machine learning engineer is also changing. While they'll still be busy tuning traditional models, they also need to be able to leverage all of the latest tools such as ChatGPT and the different OpenAI models to be able to integrate them easily into the existing data science stack. So they need to be able to build on top of their existing data science tooling to accelerate innovation within the company they're working in. In this new era of data science, we'll see more companies like OpenAI, Microsoft, and Meta leading the model development. So these days, data science practitioners need to be better at leveraging existing tools and model as a service to be able to integrate them into their existing data products. They need to be very agile and adaptable and quick at learning. Now, what does the future of the data science industry look like? This year, the demand for data science jobs will continue to increase. However, the competition for these jobs will also increase. Now that there's a greater barrier to entry, it's important for candidates to differentiate themselves in something other than their degree. This means differentiating yourself by creating projects on GitHub or whether it is blogs and sharing your learnings online. And especially in an environment like this, it's so important to network and get your name out there. Try to meet data scientists who are in positions that you aspire to be and get some mentoring. This is how true friendships and networks are created. In addition to what we've discussed, the data science landscape is being shaped by the importance of ethical AI as well as responsible data usage. Companies are focused not just on harnessing data for business purposes, but also making sure that their data practices align with ethical standards and regulations. This adds another layer to the data science industry, where there's not only need for technical talent, but also for data professionals to be ethically conscious. So if you're someone that's not technically strong, you might consider roles in ethical AI. Soon, in the next five to 10 years, we'll see more roles that involves individuals thinking more about data governance and ethical use of AI. And we definitely need people that are not engineers to be doing this work in tandem with engineers. So we're bringing a diverse range of thoughts to the ethical use of AI. However, there aren't too many jobs in ethical AI, but make sure you keep upskilling yourself so that you're ready for the next wave of data science jobs. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, then smash that like button and I'll see you next time.